Just wanted to quickly show you, you know, a couple things you can do with your engagement photos. A lot of people are, uh, you know, on the fence with engagement photos and because they don't really know why they would take them and, you know, what they would do with the photos. So I, I for one, think it's a great idea to do engagement photos, especially if you don't have a lot of good photos of the two of you together. The other thing is it's kind of nice to have some cool photos of you guys looking great that aren't in wedding clothes. Real quick today, I'm just going to show you a few of my top sellers of things you can do with your engagement photos. What you think of most of the time are like maybe save the date magnets, something like that's kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of the magnet. I think it's kind of an old school thing to do personally. And a lot of stainless steel fridges don't have magnetized fronts anymore. But, you know, it's really a preference thing. You can absolutely get magnets done. It just really depends on how many people that you're sending it to are magnet kind of people. But whatever. What I'm a bigger fan of are like holiday cards and thank you notes and uh, save the dates. This one was a save the date. They were getting married in, in a speakeasy. So we did an engagement session that was a treasure hunt to find this location for their, set, their wedding. So it was a really fun engagement session. So the, here they are sitting outside the T in Boston where you would come out. So it was a really fun way to do it, super easy. So I've done a couple of those. This is another one I did, you know, just a little vintage inspired save the date postcard. Not a big deal, kind of cool, but it, the hard part about postcards is it's really hard to fit the wedding website on it and the text gets really, really tiny with these postcards. So I'm not as much of a fan of the postcards even though it's a really inexpensive way to do a save the date because the stamp is cheaper also. Next up, we have just regular save the dates. This one I love, this one's recent. I did this film uh, portrait session where I captured everything on film. And so we put a couple pictures on the back with their name and date. Super simple. I mean, a save the date doesn't have to have a million things on it. You just need who is it. Hopefully you know who it is. If you're getting this in the mail, when's the date, where is the location? If you have a wedding website, add that. Other than that, really a save the date is literally just for save the date. If you want to get a little fun with it, like these guys did, this one was really fun. We just did a picture on the front because then you could frame it. And then we did a little cute little chalkboard design on the back. And it says free drinks. Oh, and we're also getting married. I mean, it's a great way to put your personality in there, you know. I mean, you can tell the difference between the two couples here. This is also a really fun couple, but they're a lot more traditional, a lot like really classy uh, not, to, not to say Sam and Jeremy aren't classy, but we definitely had a lot of drinks at their wedding. They had an ice luge at their wedding. So you're setting the tone of your wedding even with what you choose to put on your save the date, right? Like, so this was a little bit more of a black tie affair. This was also a really big party and, you know, probably the same amount of money spent and everything, but it was definitely more about having fun. Um, and this one was at a gorgeous location where everybody just really hung around outside. So I photographed the engagement session uh, in that way to kind of capture the personality and what your, your uh, wedding is going to be like. This is just a really simple one that we did together um, for their save the date. Again, just the pertinent information and their wedding website because all the other information is going to be on the website and in the invitation. So this one we did with a nice frame around it, uh, but they still could put it in a frame if they wanted. And Another favorite thing is these little thank you notes. So I'll pick an engagement photo. This is really important to do. I do these before this, the wedding because after the wedding you go on your honeymoon typically. So we'll just knock this out. We pick a photo and I kind of like as long as you let me know what your color theme is, I can match it. It's pretty simple, you know, just give me an idea of like, oh, otherwise I'll just pick something. And it's really great to have these ready to go. So you can use a wedding photo also. I've done a ton of those. Uh, I've done a lot of wedding photo thank you notes at, with wedding photos also. And, but you could do both. You know, a lot of people do these also for the uh, thank you for the um, bridal shower. So either way, you can do either one. You know, you can even do a flat card that's a thank you note with just a photo, again, that somebody could put in a frame with a quick note on the back. You know, I even write your names on it so you don't have to sign every freaking card. Right? So you can do wedding, wedding thank you notes or you can do engagement thank you notes. And you can do both, as you can see, I do that a lot. Uh, next up is, this kind of save the date was a little different. I didn't put anything on the back, um, but I came up with this cool little logo. I wanted to point it out because, you know, I came up with this monogram for Megan and Michael, even though it's not a typical mon monogram to use their first names. But what was really fun about this 
is actually they loved this so much that they used this logo for everything. We branded everything at their wedding. They had it all over. They even had cookies made for the bachelor party with the logo on it, which is super fun. It was hilarious to come and see that. Uh, everything at the wedding had M&M, this little logo. I gave it to them at some point um, because they, they wanted to get uh, letterpress cards made with just the monogram and blank cards for their thank you notes that they could use forever. You know, they weren't branded to the wedding. So it's really fun to come out, get outside the box with my clients and help them do all these really cool things. Uh, you know, and we actually did a limited edition of these with just their dog for their friends. So that uh, that's an option too. They come in packs of 25. Every single card I offer comes in packs of 25. So I'm, I'm totally cool like customizing it and having a little fun with it and being a little sassy with what we write. It's cool. You know, this is the save the date especially is a place where you can really let your personality shine. Whereas the invitation needs to be a lot more formal. So you remember that one I was talking about with the drinking at the wedding? So they got married at Turning Stone Casino. So the other thing we did with their engagement photos is we made these really cool poker chips. So these were the favors. They used these favors. So they had them out at everybody's table um, at their seat at the reception. So I sent in all the uh, engagement photos to this company that made these for them. Isn't that cool? So again, I'm totally cool with like customizing your wedding, making favors out of your engagement photos. We've put, uh, so these guys gave out wine as their favors. So they found a place that did custom wine labels. So we did a different photo for the wine labels. I, unfortunately, I never ended up with a bottle of that wine, which I really wanted, but you know, maybe they'll give me one later. I'm cool with like customizing all kinds of things with your engagement photos. Uh, another thing you can do are these really fun accordion books. I love these books. They're really, really fun. They're inexpensive. They come in packs of three. So, you know, we just use all these little photos for their, from their engagement session. And they're really fun to open. They come in a million covers. You can like really customize it. I could even put, I could even put your save the date information on one of these little spots if you wanted. Uh, and then on my own, what I do for all of my couples is I make these little cards for you. So you see how we're using engagement photos and I usually try to use a different one for everything. So here's Katie and Ruan. They're little, I loved this photo. I used a more of a close up photo. So I leave these out at the reception and it just has information. Whoop. It just has information on the back of how to find the photo. So I tell the guests basically like, okay, here's my website. My, I'll do a blog post in a couple days and then you can check out the store to pre-register for their event. And, uh, you know, I'll put the photos on Facebook and you can tag yourself. So I leave these little cards out at the reception, makes it super easy for your guests to figure out what the heck, oh, how to find the photos. Uh, I love these little marketing cards and then they go, and then they go home with a cute little photo of the couple, which I've seen, I've heard that a lot of people use them as like a bookmark, you know, after, after time. Um, and then I always keep a couple extra. I put, punch a hole in it. And when I deliver a print, I'll wrap this around as like a gift tag, uh, on the prints when I'm, people order something from your wedding. So that's something I do. And not every photographer does this. Not, not very many photographers do this, but I find it's just so easy. Cause then you don't have as a, as the bride and groom, you don't have to, or bride and bride, groom and groom, whatever. You don't have to actually uh, tell everybody where the photos are. They can take these home. I also will make sure that the parents have these and like maybe the bridal party. So if you, if I make these for you, you can actually leave them at everybody's table at the reception on their table. So then they take it home. So, uh, cause otherwise like the bridal party ends up being too busy to even notice this kind of stuff. And the, and the parents and siblings and that kind of stuff. You're too busy partying, so you don't even notice. And the last thing that I do with my engagement photos is I'll make a book. So most of my engagement uh, photo packages come with a book and save the dates or a book, or you can choose one or the other. And then all of them get these cards. I make these for free for my couples. They're included. So I make a little guest book, either an 8x8 or a 10x10, something like that. We kind of pick a cover that matches their theme of the colors of the wedding. And it's just a simple book, a lot of blanks page, usually a welcome page of like, hey, thanks for coming to my wedding. Leave me a note, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll just do some pictures throughout a book. I mean, this is a baby book, but it's the exact same thing. Nice, thick, rigid pages. See how nice that is? Lays flat, easy to write. It's a nice matte paper. So it's super easy to write on this 
book and I'll leave a lot of blank space so people can write around it. I will do some pages like this where this is faded so people can write on the photo. And you can actually like, my couples never do this, but if you're watching this and you're a photographer looking for ideas, what you can do is you can actually have your couple come up with questions like, hey, what should we, you know, what piece of advice do you have so that we last 60 years or whatever? You know, there's all kinds of different things uh, that you could write on the page so that your guests get motivated to write something more than just congratulations. Uh, I find as a guest, sometimes it's really hard to like think of something really cool on the spot. Um, you know, I've even done like a picture of the bride on one side and the groom on the other or groom, groom, bride, bride, whatever, who, you know, and what should, you know, Jane know about Scott or what should Scott know about Jane, whatever, you know, you can actually like fish for really cool, fun things and make it more interactive. If you get creative, it's an option, you know, it is fun to do that. And it's fun to see what people write. And I do leave like one or two pages totally blank. I don't like to fill the whole book with photos so that there's plenty of room, especially if they have 200 guests. So anyway, in short, to wrap up, we can do save the dates, thank you notes, custom things that fit your wedding, like poker chips, wine bottles. Oh geez, I can't even tell you all the different things we've done with, photo, with the wedding photos. Um, I do books are very popular, guest book. I mean, instead of having just like a white fluffy guest book with people just sign their name, like we do something a little more interactive. And then I make these cool little cards with my branding and my information. Uh, and I leave these out at the bar or on the tables at the reception so that your guests can go find the photos. And then, like I said, just all kinds of different save the date options. Obviously, there's always canvas prints, metal prints, wall art, um, you know, but that really depends on who you are. You know, these guys just did a bunch of eight by tens. Um, this is her house. So they have an eight by 10, right? When you walk in the door of this picture, which is really cute. And he moved in obviously. So, you know, it's fun that you can do different things. This one, her parents ordered a 16 by 20 print and we framed it and they have a nice family wall. It fits really nicely. So there's all kinds of different cool stuff you can do. You can also do ornaments of an engagement photo like these are really kind of really fun so it depends on you know what you want to give out for christmas or whatever you know you don't even have to use them for christmas you can use them for other things and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more